Good day, guys. It has been two whole years since I made my last setup video, and this time I'm in a new place, so I'm very much overdue to do it. This video is going to be a bit different because I'm not only going to show you my gaming setup and everything I use, but I'm also going to be going on holiday immediately after and taking you guys with. So this is going to be a kind of a vlog and a gaming setup. Without further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you my setup, like everything, the whole apartment. So behind me here, we have my view. That was like the, honestly the main reason I got this apartment, simply because it had a sick view. And seeing as I'm inside playing video games all the time, it's it's nice to have a good view, basically. So this is the bedroom in here. This is where I spend the least amount of time, honestly. Then out here, you have like the main hallway slash like dining area. The first room here is just the bathroom. Nothing exciting going on here, except for the shitter. This is the gaming room, but I want to get into that separately. So I would quickly show you the rest of the apartment. This is like the eating area where I never usually use. Dining area, this is just where to chill. We do have a balcony as well, which is kind of sick. I sit out here sometimes, not as much as I should, honestly. And then kitchen area. That is my apartment. I live in Sydney, Australia. So it is like one of the most expensive areas to live in the world but I do have a nice little apartment here and I've got a sick view. Just so you all know, this sign was on the wall, but it is now on the floor because of technical difficulties. <laughs> the main part of the gaming room is in one piece, which is the important part. And this is where the biggest changes have happened. Last time you saw this, I think I had three PCs and four monitors, but now it is very different. Much cleaner, much simpler, and in my opinion, much better. I'll go through absolutely everything I use, starting with the most important, and that's the controller. So as you can see, I got two options here, and one's really expensive, and then one's super cheap. On the right, you can see my Battle Beaver. I do have a control freak on top, and also it is an expensive, like $200 controller. It's got two buttons on the back, one for jump, one for slide. And the cheap option is just a normal PlayStation controller with the PlayStation back button, which costs like $30. So this is the best option for budget gaming. And it's honestly awesome as well. Now you're probably wondering what the hell this is. And I'm not sus, I swear. Tomorrow bought it for me. And yes, you can squish the boobies. <laughs> I hope nobody cares about my keyboard because it's literally nothing impressive. The monitors are the biggest change as well. The one on the right here is an LG G7, which is a 240 hertz, 27 inch curved monitor. It's probably my favorite for gaming and then this one right here the loba is a 4k 140 hertz monitor now i have recorded most of my previous videos with this just because it's such high quality but honestly better for gaming is 1440p because you don't need to have a bazillion dollar pc in order to run 1440p whereas with 4k you kind of do and that's where this bad boy comes in this is probably the best pc you can possibly get at the moment, I would have called it myself. As you can tell, I need to top up the reserve. But this is a 3090 and a 5950X, and it's all water-cooled, even the motherboard. And in total, this PC cost me over $10,000. It's like the top tier everything, all put into the one PC, just so I can play in high quality and record in high quality. And that way I don't need dual PC or any of that. I can just get one beast PC that'll run everything and do everything that I need it to. Background, you can see that's the square thing is by lighting. On top of it is just a crappy webcam. I should probably upgrade that. That's the only thing that's not upgraded. My headset I use is actually a studio one. I wouldn't recommend getting it for gaming. But if you're curious, it's the Sennheiser HD 660S. Way too much money just for gaming, but it is super high quality. <laughs> Congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers. I need to get my million one. I need to get the gold one. I'm slacking. Audio, I've got a GoXLR here and a Shaw SMB7 mic. Almost forgot the most important thing, and that is the tub of Zeus juice. Don't ask me what the hell this is. I bought it just because it said Zeus on it, and yeah, that, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the setup to it. It's a lot simpler now, but it is a lot better in my opinion. Last time I showed you my setup, it was a bit of a mess, stuff everywhere. I'm gonna put you guys in my backpack and take you with me to Europe. Let's do it. Excited? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Couple of gin and tonics down. Right, what is going on? Welcome to Hyde Park in London. We made it. 24 hours and 30 minutes of flights later, which nearly killed me, honestly. Like, flying for that long, like literally over a day, is pain. But we finally made it to London, and I haven't got shanked yet in a bruv. I've actually only heard in a bruv once, so we haven't been here for long enough. That is the one telltale sign in London that you hear, is hearing people talk like that. So the plan is to spend like a couple days here We'll suss out London, see what it has to offer. 
and then we're off to Paris and then after that to Spain. So actually going to be a sick trip. I'm looking forward to it. That's it. Dude, he looks like he's ready to bite me, dude. He's scarier than most of the people in London, honestly. Imagine getting staunched by this little guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming for your dog. <laughs> nah, he won't bite me. Look at him. He's so cute and innocent. He's off the scenery. <laughs> he's off the scene, bro. Just hit me with the movement. Alright, we found a place that matches my shirt to go out for lunch. We got some smashed avo and toast. They actually blend in perfectly. So behind me is a Tower of London. Apparently it's literally the oldest castle in the entire of London, or maybe even England, I'm not entirely sure, but let me go check it out. Apparently it's pretty wicked. I'm pretty tall, you can tell by people behind me, but I feel like minuscule in something like this. See, I'm big, eh? That's what she said. Not about yours. <laughs> All right, here we have the famous King Henry's armor. Even with a little cock shield. You gotta keep that thing safe. That's the only important thing in battle. The views from this tower is like actually wicked though. I'm kind of pissed I'm a YouTuber and not a king. All right, we finished checking out the tower. So now we're gonna go look for somewhere to eat. Maybe get a pint of beer. Is that all? Is that what you guys say? I've seen it before. What's your favorite thing? A torture chamber? Yes, I can imagine. Yo, 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 chill. So what is Pim? Is that a year from yeah. the UK? Yeah. I'm Aussie, never heard of it, yeah? Is it good? Do you like it? Are you vlogging? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to be in the vlog? I don't even know. Pimps, uh, in the English drink. Let's try it. <sighs> Yummy. Actually playing video games at the airport. Yo! Alright, so we're literally about to touch down in Mallorca. Alright, we've got our rental car and now we just got to find our hotel and then we're good. Right, a quick tour of the apartment here in Spain, aka the hotel. We've got a nice little lounge area. The bed's in the corner. Bathroom. And then a view outside into Spain. Hell yeah. So walking the streets of Palma, it's honestly pretty nice. Got a cannabis shop there. Even crappy American food like Burger King up here. Some nice cafes. Yeah, we are like three deep on the strongest gin and tonics I've ever had. It's fucking lit. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Cheers, dog. We found some random band in this like square. And I'm gonna get copyright strike. Woo. He's not gonna get copyright strikes, I swear. Woo! Alright. We got some ice cream and now we got a church right behind us, like a crazy tall one. Cheers. Alrighty, we're heading down to this dope beach. Honestly, such a wicked view behind me though. So the beaches in Spain and Palma where we are at right now are literally insane. I'm so glad I got this drone to show you guys this because it's absolutely nuts just how blue the water is and how sick it all is. Like, look at this view. Like, you literally cannot get any better than this. This is absolutely incredible. I didn't want to fly too close to the beach either, simply because a lot of people in Spain like to get their titties out, and it'd be incredibly obnoxiously rude if I flew a drone anywhere near them. All right, we've spent all day driving around, and we got to, like, here. We went to a beach to begin with that you guys saw. Look at these houses behind us. Pretty hectic. On the hill. And all the cafes are right on the road as well. But it's so pretty. And here we've got a wild Zeus in the water. Do you like your orgasm? No, it tastes like oh, shit. That's your, so your, anyway. your cum drink? It actually looks like sort of milky cum, eh? Hey? I'd probably prefer that, honestly. Like, this is <laughs> ass. <laughs> Sorry, can you say that again? <laughs> About 12.30 at night. We've got our champers, we're chilling. We've got a we've nice got cool our, view. We've got our champagne. It's fucking shit. <laughs> I am really though. sorry. This is still a really weird image. You in like a bathrobe sipping fucking... I could take it off. <laughs> Do you want to take it off? <laughs> the vlog? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number one tip. If you ever have the hiccups, get your glass of water. You want to drink from the opposite side, like like so. Ready? What the fuck? Hiccups are gone. Oh my god! Magic. No, no, I'm serious. It literally works every single time.
All right, the day after all that drinking, we got up really early and we went and hired a boat for the day. And it was probably the best decision I've ever made. The beaches in Menorca are literally the best I've ever been to in the world. And I've been to a lot of beaches. You didn't even need a boat license in order to do this, which was crazy as well. All right, how's the driving, dog? Good. <laughs> All right, we've been to a few beaches now. Look behind us. That's all where we just were, and now this is where we're going. Like, this is like the perfect beach. There's literally no one can get here except for boats. There's like a few other boats around though. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Palma, and now we're on Menorca, which is like we're, a different island. So we were on Mallorca before this, and um, now we're in Menorca for tonight and then back to Paris tomorrow. <laughs> you fall over, that's the content we need. <laughs> Stop! Why you like stress out? <laughs> Get your fat ass in the <laughs> oh, yeah. Drive away now, leave him. So that was without a doubt my favorite day while on holiday. It was absolutely epic. If you're ever in Spain, recommend get a boat. You will not regret it. You're recording now? Yes. Okay, so we're back in Paris. Alrighty, so we just arrived in the hotel room in Paris. It's looking like very old traditional style, but I kind of like the vibe. I'll show you guys around. So in here, we have like the bathroom area. It's like nice and marble. We got a shower. And another shower and a bathtub. And out through here, this is like the old traditional kind of bedside table. And then the old school kind of bed. So it's like a hundred years old and a queen. This is like the kind of vibe I'd be going for. So the recap of what we did the last few days, we stayed in a Spanish island called Mallorca. And we stayed in Palma. It was pretty sick. We went to a few beaches, saw the sights. That's about it. <laughs> that's, that, that's a recap. And now we're back in Paris. All right, we're having a good dinner, and this is tomorrow's first ever beer. <laughs> Gluten-free beer. What do you think? It smells worse than it tastes. <laughs> it's not great, though. <laughs> so the best thing to do in Paris is honestly just sit back, relax, have a coffee at a coffee shop. Honestly, enjoying Paris. It's a lot quieter. I don't know. The, the, the people are a bit ruder, though, in general. Like, I don't know. Like, compared to, like, London... Like, no one's as nice. Everyone seems like a little bit more stuck up. But that's like the only downside. It's actually like pretty incredible apart from everything else than that. If I was to rate Paris from like 1 to 10, I'd probably give it like a 7. But it's definitely like something you have to do. Like a place that you have to visit in the world. One thing I have to do before we leave Paris is we got to try some snails and some maybe some frog legs too. I'll film that so you guys can see if I hate it or if I love it. It'd be interesting to find out some Paris delicacies. I don't even know if they really eat that here, if it's more like a stereotype, but I know they do offer them on dishes and stuff like that, so we're gonna give it a go. I went to America and filmed that a while ago, like trying all their fast food, so we gotta try out the, uh, the food of Paris. Frog legs and fucking snails. How is it? <laughs> all right, this is the real food things. My cocktail looks amazing. How is it? That's pretty strong, but it's actually really good. <laughs> That's a zombie with like five tons of alcohol in it. Nice. So, right behind me, we have the Louvre. Looking pretty good. It's where the Mona Lisa is and like a couple other things. It's kind of boring inside though, isn't it? No. <laughs> Alrighty. We are on the way from the Louvre to go and eat some snails. Like there's a restaurant around the corner and that is what we're going to do. It might taste like glass, I have no clue. We're literally about to find out. I think tomorrow I'll like a snail though. She reminds me of one. She's always so slow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got the snails. <laughs> Looking spicy. Alright. Where's this pork? You gotta try and get it, scoop it out. It's stuck in there, hey? Yeah, you gotta, uh, probably got the best hold on it with these. <laughs> Start again. Try nah, 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 we're gonna do it. We're pulling it I out. See it's coming out. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
<laughs> How is it? Pretty good. Uh, All right, it. You gotta like hook it out. Yeah, here it comes. Yours is bigger than mine, dude. You got a juicy one. Oh. Right down the hatch. <laughs> right, we've made it to the Eiffel Tower. Picnic time. Now we wait for it to sparkle. It's 10.20. Nice. Yay! <laughs> Just hit 11. <laughs> Were you happy? Yeah, this is epic. Yeah. One million hours of traveling later and I finally made it back home. If you guys want to see more vlogs like this, make sure to drop a comment on where I should go next, maybe. I don't know, I'm not really good at this, I haven't really done this before. So anyway, I hope you made it to the end and you did enjoy. Let me know if you want to see more of this in the future. Peace out.